A big thanks to Bernhardt for sponsoring this video. Do you like juicy tender ribs that taste like summer? Then let's make honey lemon ribs. Smoked ribs are one of my favorite things to cook on a summer day. And I got the perfect recipe to go with it. Beautiful, sweet honey lemon ribs. And therefore I selected good looking baby bag ribs that have a good mix of meat and fat. And that's what makes them juicy and tender. Let's take them out of the package and clean them up. And my dinner knife will make it easy to remove the membranes on the back of these ribs. Now these ribs look beautiful and are ready to go. Let's start by making a rub, of which you can find the recipe on pitmasterx.com. And it's going to automatically change the amount of ingredients that you need to apply. Okay, back to the recipe, starting with four tablespoons of Pitmaster X Classic Barbecue Rub. The zest of one lemon and a teaspoon of thyme powder. Mix that up and your rub is ready. Sprinkle it onto the ribs and oh boy, they already start looking good. I'm going to be cooking my ribs on the Bernhardt Flint pellet grill. I'm going to start it up with the press of a button and a twist of the dial. Now, of course, you always got to check if you still have enough pellets in your hopper. And I'm going to be smoking my ribs with cherry wood. That's going to give me a lot of smoke flavor and a beautiful smoke profile. I'm going to set my ribs in with the thickest part pointing towards the hottest part of the barbecue. Then it's time to close the lid and let the barbecue do its job. The ribs have been smoking for three hours and that's about the time that I want to start checking to see what they look like. And oh my, do they look good. I'm looking at the color and I see that I've got a beautiful mahogany red popping up on the ribs, which means we're going to have a good amount of smoke flavor. So it's time to make a barbecue sauce. Starting off with 125 milliliters of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, three tablespoons of cane sugar, three tablespoons of all natural honey, two tablespoons of Pitmaster X's classic barbecue rub, the juice of one fresh pressed lemon, and one teaspoon of thyme powder. Now I'm gonna let that come to a boil, stir it up, and our barbecue sauce is done. So I'm gonna roll out some aluminum foil, put the ribs on, put on a little bit of butter, put the sauce on, wrap the ribs back up, put them back in the Bernard Flint and let it continue to cook. The ribs are done and I wanna take a closer look at them. Now the big question is always, when are they done? Now there are a lot of ways that you can tell if these ribs are done or not. Some people say if the bone starts poking out, they're done. But that's a difficult thing because when do they poke out? How much should they poke out? And how do you know if it's right or wrong? Sometimes the bone just falls out. Yes, then they're done. But you want to prevent that. You want to have the perfect cooked ribs. So I'm going to give you the ultimate tip. Measure the temperature of your ribs. And now you're going to say, dude, what? Seriously, I always check by poking it. Sure, if you did 20 to 30 ribs, you figured it out by then. And you're sure that this time it's going to be perfect because you got that tenderness. But it's not always the case. Maybe your ribs are a little bit dry because there's no fat in the ribs. And then when you poke them, it's gonna feel dry, it's gonna feel more tough, and you think these ribs need to cook more, but in reality, they don't need to cook more. You already overcooked them, they're dry. You kind of failed. And that's why I suggest, if you don't know, then use a thermometer. Just stick it in, and don't be ashamed of using this technique. There is no shame in using tools to get your food to be cooked perfect. And these ribs are at a core temperature of 94 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely perfect. From 92 degrees Celsius, they're done. I like them a little further, but I don't want to go up to all the way 98, where they start folding apart. So they're really, really close. And the last thing we need to do is make them look pretty. I'm gonna take my brush, and just brush out the barbecue sauce that we put on. And look at that beautiful color. The sweetness is definitely there. Absolutely gorgeous ribs. First rack is done. Time to for the second rack. Look at that. Nice, buttery, juicy, soft ribs. Sometimes I put these ribs back on the barbecue, but now they're super hot and all I need to do is just put a little bit of sauce on them. And while they're cooling down, the sauce starts sticking to the ribs. 
moisture evaporates, and they're gonna be absolutely super delicious. What do you think, Mitchell? Yeah, I smell ribs, so I, I'm, I'm uh, just rolling into the frame. I don't, I never get people sliding into my DMs. I always get people rolling into, into my frame. frame. Yeah. yeah. I never get the hot chicks. I always get the hairy biker dudes. Those are the best. I had, my personal preference is a little different. <laughs> <laughs> I flip these ribs around so that I can see where the bone lays. This way I'm gonna cut them perfect with my big, big knife. Those look juicy. Nice looking ribs, cooked to perfection. Not full of the bone, but still super tender. Mitchell? I'm ready. Go. Are you? Yeah, go, go, go. They're good? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. They look amazing. We got a beautiful smoke ring. They look super, super juicy. Just one big waterfall of juiciness and goodness. Let's give them a try. I wasn't hungry anymore, but now I am again. This is gonna be gone soon, so I'm gonna say I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Big thanks to the mm -hmm. YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out our website. Uh, until then, eat smartly and keep on grilling.